This is In the Spotlight. It's about people on this planet that has captured the attention of vloggers like me. Listen and learn more about your concerns on In the Spotlight. A Missouri man hopes to walk out of prison today after serving nearly two decades for a murder he did not commit. David Robinson was kept behind bars even though another man confessed to the crime back in 2004. 48 Hours correspondent Aaron Moriarty shows us the case a judge calls manifest injustice. Aaron, good morning. Well, good morning. David Robinson isn't the only one who says he's innocent. In February, a state judge agreed with him. And two weeks ago, the Missouri Supreme Court ordered his release. And yet, Robinson remains in prison, which is where we talked to him last week. It's been a living nightmare. It's been a up and down roller coaster. In 2001, David Robinson was convicted of the murder of Sheila Box, a 36 year old mother. She was found in her car a year earlier in Sykeston, Missouri, dead of a single gunshot wound to the chest. I was in disbelief. It changed my world forever. Sheila Box's daughter was 17 when she lost her mom. I have memories of dancing with her in the living room. She was extremely beautiful, loving, caring. Police believed Robinson, who had a history of drug crime, shot Box during a drug deal. That bothered me more than anything, to be wrongfully accused for killing a woman. But there was little to tie Robinson to the murder. No physical evidence, just one eyewitness, Albert Baker, a paid police informant, who claimed he saw Robinson shoot Box at this busy intersection. Filmmaker Steve Turner is working on a documentary about the case. There's no three or four witnesses that saw him shoot her. There's nothing. It's just one guy that had a crazy story, and bam, he's gone. There was also an inmate who claimed that Robinson confessed to him when they shared a cell. Charlie Weiss is Robinson's attorney. Turns out he was never in the same cell, David Robinson. He and the prosecution put him on the stand, even though they knew he had never shared the same cell. Robinson was sentenced to life without parole, but three years later, the case against him fell apart. Another man confessed on tape to a defense investigator that he was the one who sold drugs to Sheila Box and killed her. I just told her to throw the money, throw the money out, I'm going to throw her dope. Romance Mosby says he panicked when he saw she had a gun. And that's why I just shot her for when she was playing. I was walking up to it, and she just raised her arm, that's why I shot her. In 2009, Mosby took his own life, and Robinson remained in prison, even though by then, both witnesses who testified against him admitted they had lied. I gave the false testimony to David Robinson. Albert Baker, the paid informant, had been given $2,500 in cash and expenses after he agreed to testify. And still, Robinson remained in prison as appeal after appeal was denied until last February, when Judge Darrell Missy ruled the evidence clearly shows that David Robinson did not kill Sheila Box. The conviction should be overturned because the lead detective John Blakely used unreliable evidence to convict Robinson and ignored or suppressed facts which pointed away from him. You're still sitting here. How do you explain that to your family? I can't. I mean, I get asked that question every day. My staff, other offenders, but it hurt every time they ask me. Even the daughter, still grieving a mother, wonders why Robinson hasn't been released. I believe in my heart that he's innocent, and I stand by him. I lend my support to him. That's how it should be. The state of Missouri has until the end of May to either retry Robinson or free him. What do you want to do when you get out? What's the first thing you want to do? Hug my mother.